Mr. Henry. Go ahead, bro. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. I truly, uh, truly pray the Holy Spirit is 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 with us on this one because this was a tough message when I first heard it. Um, but it stuck with me and it stuck with me for some time now. And I feel like it's it's time to share it because just because of what's happening in this world, man. Um, and, and this isn't conspiracy talk because there is discussion by the Pope about starting a one world religion. There are those who pray to mother earth as God. Obviously we have, you know, Muslims, we have Jews who don't recognize Jesus as part of the Godhead. So I'm not sure, you know, where they kind of fall into this whole situation, but obviously you got, you know, Egyptian gods, Roman gods, Satan is the God of this world. There's even question about the dollar bill with this, with its imagery, when it says in God, we trust, is it referring to the God of the Bible? Is it referring to the God of the Hebrews? Just like if I say, hey, Roberto, hey, Ntikan, hey, hey, Pastor Wade, when I refer to you by name, you know who I'm referring to. If I just say, hey, man, hey, brother, hey, man, you may not be quite sure who I'm referring to. I may know. And of course, God knows our heart. But when we're ministering to other people, and when scripture tells us so many times to praise his name, but then his name gets lost. It is historical fact that when they were translating the Hebrew scriptures, the Hebrew, mm -hmm. the original Hebrew, into whether it be Latin, Greek, into English, we started using a title for our God. Now, so much of scripture says Lord, says God. I love terms like Father, Heavenly Father, Lord God, God of gods, Lord of lords, because that's clearly distinguishing him as the highest of high, the most high Elohim. There's even a, um, a quick link I'm going to pop in here. Give me a second. Um, into the chat. And when I saw this, I was like, wow, the devil show is a liar. But if you open the link that I sent, it's a it's an encyclopedia, uh, encyclopedia Britannica article. Now we know encyclopedias, you know, should be a wealth of knowledge for us to refer to. What is unfortunate and this gets lost in the translation from Hebrew to Latin to Greek to English, is that the word Baal, which was also a Canaanite God, meant owner or Lord. So when I read scripture today and I see all these references to Lord or God, I'm like, you know what? Let's replace that with Heavenly Father. Let's replace that with whatever the case is, Yahweh, Jehovah, Yahovah. That, you know, th that's a whole nother discussion why people use certain names true, when you're referring to the true name of God. But I, I did pull up some scripture that, that I truly want to share here today. And the reason why is just because I think it's important because of the way the world is going that we make sure that we distinguish not only for other people's sake, but for him. He, scripture says he doesn't want to share his glory with anybody. So when we're using a name that could easily be easily be trans, uh, transcribed to someone or something else, I just think it's important that we keep this in mind. As we go, as we grow closer to Him, so I pulled up a few, uh, several scriptures. I probably won't go through all of them here, but I've also got a, a couple different translations because my favorite translation these days is the New King James Version. Um, 
so for instance, I'll start with I'll start with Exodus 9, 16. And just going through a, a few of the translations. But indeed, for this purpose, I have raised you up, that I may show my, my power in you, and that my name may be declared in all the earth. So if we're declaring his name, and Lord or God is simply a title, then are we declaring his name, or are we just declaring a, a title? Just like we go back to say, hey, if, if, I'm, if I'm shouting out Roberto, or I'm shouting out favor i'm starting out gerardo like i want to use your name i'm just like this man of god is great well which man of god are you talking about again god knows our hearts god knows when we when we pray to him we're praying to him it's if if we've truly accepted jesus christ as our lord and savior then he he knows what's going on but i just think it's important to remember that when scripture says that we are to proclaim his name that we are truly proclaiming his name. So I'm going to jump to 1 Kings 18.24, and I'm looking at the New King James Version, as well as um, a the NOG, which is the Names of God Bible. It uses a lot of direct Hebrew translations. For instance, when 1 Kings 18.24 says, then you call on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God who answers answers by fire he is God and so all the people answered said it is well spoken well the names of God version says you call on the name of your gods but I will call on the name of Yahweh the God who answers by fire is the real Elohim because again even the word Elohim is a word for spiritual being and or God so when we say the most I Elohim people know okay you talking about Yah you talking about Jehovah like there is no mix-up. So jumping into Psalms, I, I truly love the Psalms because this is where we see a lot of times just, just flat out, just praise. We're just praising his name. The New King James for Psalm 717 says, I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. And again, if we're wanting to sing praises to the name, then we look at the names of God Bible and it says, I will give thanks to Yahweh for his righteousness. I will make music to praise the name of Yahweh Elyon. And when I, when I first came across this message that we've kind of lost track of the name, the true name of our God, it kind of hit me because, you know, um, I was new to my journey. I was, you know, growing in, in my walk with Christ. I was still reading the Bible all the way through. But as I read scripture and as we see what's going on in this world, I'm like, you know what? I don't want there to be any doubt. When it says some rely, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. The Names of God Bible says, we will boast in the name of Yahweh, our Elohim. Man, that's clear. Nobody's going to get mixed up. Like, you're not going to ask me, bro, are, are you, you know, what denomination? Like, yo, none of that. The Most High God is Yahweh, Jehovah, however you want to pronounce it. I don't truly think that matters because we all know, I mean, there's still power in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is a translation. But those who, who are familiar with deliverance and healing, we know there's power in the name of Jesus. So I'm not going to get, get, get caught up in, should we use the English translation or the Hebrew translation? But I do know that when I speak the name of God, I want to make sure that I'm speaking his name. Psalm 22.22 says, I will declare your name to my brethren. What name are you declaring? Psalm 24, 8 says, Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. The names of God version says, Who is this Melech of glory? Means king. Yahweh strong and mighty, Yahweh heroic in battle. Heroic in battle. 
So I could go on and on, man, especially in the Psalms, sing to God, sing to Elohim in the names of God Bible. And even in Psalm 68, 4, it says, by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Well, it's the same in the names of God Bible. So there are places in your King James and your new King James, which clearly going to say his name is Yah. But then we fall back on Lord and God. And again, yeah, when you say the Lord or the God or, or the almighty God, like we, we understand that there's a distinction there. But are we giving him the glory that he deserves when scripture tells us to praise his name? So Psalm 83, 18, that they may know you whose name alone is the Lord are most high over all the earth. Names of God Bible says, so they must acknowledge you. Your name is Yahweh. You alone are Elyon of the whole earth. And I, I had several Psalms pulled up. I think this last one is going to be Psalms 124, 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is the name of Yahweh. And then getting into books like Isaiah, Isaiah 12, 1 through 4. Oh, Lord, I will praise you. Names of God Bible says, I will praise you, oh, Yahweh. The um, verse 4 specifically says, praise the Lord, call upon his name. Then let's say praise Yahweh, call upon his name. We, 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 man, it, it, it just, it just hurt, almost hurts my heart. That he gave us his name. And, and yes, the Jewish who helped with the translations, they began this tradition, which is called the ineffable name doctrine, I believe, where they believe that his name is too holy to be spoken. But that's not in scripture. That's, that's their tradition. That's the Jewish tradition. And again, if the Jewish tradition is also not to recognize Jesus is our Messiah, then I don't think I want to continue following those traditions that they just made up that's not in scripture. Isaiah 42, eight says, I am the Lord, that is my name. The names of God Bible says, I am Yahweh, that is my name. And it goes on, I will not give my glory to anyone else or the praise I deserve to idols. And that's where I truly believe that that link that I sent comes in, because if 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 the most high God. He is the God of of Israel, the God of the Hebrews, our God, because just Jesus did come and save us all. And we're using a term that in the original Hebrew is. I mean, basically meant Baal, who was the God of the Canaanites. And, and again, this isn't to say, you know, oh, what you're doing is wrong if you say Lord, you're wrong if you say God, but I just think it's important that as we grow closer to Yahweh, that we use his name. Just like as I grew closer to my wife, I'm not going to call her her hey wife. Hey wifey, yeah, she knows I'm talking to her. She's my only wife, but we're close. I'm going to use her name. So Jeremiah 23, 26 through 27 says this, and I was just um, reading Jeremiah doing a study about false prophets, which is, is pretty, a pretty heavy part of Jeremiah. And it says this, how long will this continue in the hearts of these lying prof uh, prophets who prophesy the delusions of their own minds? Verse 27 says, they think the dreams they tell one another will make my people forget my name just as their ancestors forgot my name through ball worship. And that's the NIV. The, New, the King James Version says, as their fathers have forgotten my name for ball. And I'm just like, wow. We haven't forgotten his name, but we don't use it. And I really love the, the John 17, 11, because <laughs> Yeshua, Jesus Christ, he refers to the Holy Father or Holy Father. And clearly that makes a distinction, man. You, you can't get lost when you say Holy Father. There is only one. 
There is only one Holy Father. There is only one Lord of Lords, God of Gods, Most High Elohim. We can't get that twisted. So, so again, brothers, this isn't to condemn anyone because this is one of those things that as we read the Bible, I mean, scripture isn't, scripture isn't wrong, but we know that the translations may have been done in a way that lessened the impact of his mighty name. Because we know his name is mighty. He is the great I am. He is Yahweh. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is Jehovah Nisi. And I just think it's time that we get back to calling him by his name a little bit more often than maybe we do. So, so that's it for today, fam. I, I just wanted to share those scriptures with you, share what's been on my heart for a while now. And uh, God bless you. And, and I pray that you receive it. Good word, brother. Good word, brother Henry.